Um, they've uh, asked me to say a few words about the next pieces on the program, the three romances, Drei uh, Romanzen uh, by Robert Schumann. Uh, Robert Schumann was, at least in Europe, um, one of the most significant composers of the 19th century. We don't know that much about him on this side of the pond um, because his music, some of it makes it, but not as much as he wrote. Uh, a few years ago, I was in Russia uh, in 2013, and I was surprised uh, in talking with musicians there at his, his influence there is as big as Beethoven. Um, composers like Tchaikovsky and Rimsky-Korsakov and Mazorsky adored Robert Schumann. They adored what he did and the chances he took because um, while he was still writing his music with those 19th century restrictions of form, he was breaking away from those in subtle and oft times dreamy ways. And in the case of these three um, Romanson, uh, the other significant part of the Schumann story is he was married to Clara Schumann. Clara Schumann was uh, with Franz Liszt probably the two, one of the significant uh, pianists of the 19th century who to this day influence us um, in many ways. The type of concert programming we do now, that's thanks to Clara because that's how she did it and said it should be done and we still follow those rules. Um, for composers, um, they, uh, they look to find their muse, and Clara certainly was uh, a muse for Robert Schumann. They had one of the great love affairs of the 19th century, and um, he wrote a set of piano romances that were dedicated to her. She wrote a set of piano romances that were dedicated to him. And then later, he wrote these three romances and gave them to her as a Christmas present. And so in, buried in the midst of these um, is a little motive. Ba -dum, ba -dum. Don't expect to hear it because he's buried it in there. But it was his motive for her. And he loved her so very much. And of course, if you know how the story played out, um, he was born in 1810, but in the early 1850s, he started suffering dementia, and um, he died in an insane asylum. And she lived for another 40 years, and she never got married again. But these particular pieces are very significant in the life of those two people. And talking to Mary before the concert, she also pointed out that in 19th century literature, there's hardly anything written for piano and oboe except these three pieces. So let's bring them back on. <laughs> 